Hello, I am Rasmus Benestad, and I will give a demonstration on uh, how to calculate empirical orthogonal functions, also known as EOFs, and common EOFs in uh, R. And um, I will use uh, R Studio to do this demonstration, and we and uh, to uh, to to uh, estimate um, EOFs. We need to first um, activate uh, an uh, R package called ESD that is available from uh, GitHub here, freely available. And then I have two uh, reanalysis data sets that I want to uh, carry out the, the demonstration on. The first one is NSEP reanalysis one. So if we just run this, you see that we uh, retrieve uh, this, the surface air uh, temperature on the monthly time scale from the era uh, from the NSEP reanalysis one. And I, I want to just look at the annual mean temperature here now for simplicity. So I just uh, take the annual uh, mean value of that. And then I can estimate EUFs of this annual mean value. So if I run EUF here, uh, then it will estimate EUFs and I can plot these EUFs as shown here. So here you can see, um, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, pattern of uh, variance uh, associated with this leading UF. So here we plot the eigenvalues of 20 UFs. And now we just look at the first mode here, and that explains about 53, 54% of the variance here. And here you can see the time evolution of this, this pattern. So there's, there's been a trend here. Now we want to, for the common UFs, um, com well, common UFs are used to compare different data sets or uh, combine different data sets. So then we need another reanalysis. So we take the ERA-5 reanalysis and I have already downloaded the, uh, uh, the um, annual mean temperature here. Uh, so, but I um, also have to make sure that uh, I have the, uh, uh, the same, uh, that the index of timestamps are in year because in when I download this, it has a different format. So they, it needs to have, have a matching format to the one that we already have here. So now I can combine uh, the two reanalysis uh, using combine here. Uh, and that will basically take the anomalies uh, of both and it will regrid the second one onto the grid of the first one. So they are on the same grid, but then after each, each of the time. And the common EUF is basically just the EUF of this combined data set. That is all that is to it. But the nice thing now is if we plot the uh, common EUFs, you see now um, we have a new pattern here. And you can see uh, that this is the same spatial, uh, um, uh, spatial temporal covariance structure that is found in both of these data sets. This is what they have in common. And also you, you see that they have like a common, um, um, uh, they have the, uh, the common eigenvalues here describing how much variance that they account for. So now it's reduced, it reduced to 43%. And here you can see how the evolution has been. So they are quite similar, but there are also some differences there. This last bit here is, is due to that, uh, the fact that we don't have a, um, Complete data, uh, complete uh, record of the last year. So if it, x, if we look at the range of index x and range of index y, you see that it's um, the uh, y here has um, twenty twenty one, which is not complete. So we can we can say y equals subset y i t that index time is is between c. Uh, 1948 and 2020. So now it has the same same time uh, coverage as previous ones. Now we can combine them again like this, and then we can run the common UF and plot them. Now we see. So now we can just remove these all of these and do another plot. So this is the common UF. So then now you can see that there are some differences here. Uh, but also some similarities. We can also look at the um, IP equals two, that's index pattern two, to see how, uh, sorry, perhaps the top of the other, I have to remove it, clear it. 
second the second EUF here, and you can see now you start to see uh, more discrepancies between the two data sets. Uh, and if we do it for the uh, third one, I expect to see even more differences here. So you can see like there's quite large uh, discrepancies. So this is one way that common EUFs can be used for uh, comparing data sets and also can be used for comparing uh, uh, the simulations from global climate models against uh, reanalysis. Thanks.